as I'm standing here before you, there are many things going to my mind. I'm asking myself what you're thinking. I'm asking myself if what I pre I've prepared is good enough and if the message I'm here to convey is being understood. Funny thing is, I'm even asking myself if my outfit is sharp enough. I stand here overanalyzing every aspect of this talk instead of concentrating on my purpose here. And then, the fear kicks in. A stream of hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline rushes through my body, and they make it impossible for me to think. I start sweating, and my heart beats faster. The only thing on my mind is that I not only have to, but needs to leave. And then I look up, and I realize I forgot everything. This presentation was bound to fill before it even started. I remember when my fear first manifested itself. I was in the fifth grade, about 10 years old. It was during a church recital. I remember always wanting a solo, and when I was finally assigned one, I was a mailman. But I was excited, it didn't matter to me. Prior to the show, I told my mom to paint a fake beard on my face and to lend me a hat to conceal my hair. And when it was finally my time to shine, I started singing. Ik zat in mijn kantoortje en toen was ik aan het werk. Toen kwam er naar die rovers en die waren reuze sterk. And then I realized everybody was staring at me. I blacked out, started crying, ran off stage. Till this day, I don't remember the ending of that song. But why this fear? Perceptions. What other people think of us is really important. We are our worst critic. How we have to act, think, or even be is emphasized by the media. They show us a picture we can't compete with. This is what happens usually. <laughs> yeah, they show us a picture we can't compete with. Yes, we are afraid of failure. In fact, our main motivation is to avoid failure altogether. It's funny, come to think of it. The reason for your failure is the main reason you're failing, and yet you're afraid of failing. But why did this fear even manifest itself? I mean, I am not a shallow girl. I usually do my own thing, and I normally look like a nut job when I go to school. So in my mind, it had nothing to do with how people perceive me. But then I started thinking. Prior to every show, I sit there asking myself, what will be, I sit there asking myself instead of studying or practicing, I sit there asking, what will people think of me? Will they believe I'm dumb? And, and instead of my mantra being, I can't do this, my mantra subconsciously became, I can't do this. Self-doubt is what became my, it was the number one reason of my failure. Because in, in, in a way, it proves myself doubt right. I mean, I really can't do this. At some point, I started thinking about my fear and about how to control it. And I started with remedial teachings. And she told me to picture myself at the beach when my fear kept going, when I fe my fear started. And she told me to use phrases of self-assurance. This did help, but only with the test-making part. Picturing yourself at the beach doesn't really help you when you're presenting or doing something else. So, the, what I have come to realize, my, what, and that there was one thing that was the factor of why I didn't stop doing the things I wanted to do. It, because, it was because, first, first one is because my dreams are far too important, and the second one was the awful feeling I get when I didn't even try to accomplish a goal. What I have come to realize is regret not having tried equals having failed. You will never know the outcome if you don't try. In fact, your fear of failure will increase. Because now, you won't even try. So basically, you gave up. Me standing here is not conquering my fear. It's controlling it. I've decided to never let me ask myself the question, why didn't I? I refuse to doubt myself. And before I walk on to do whatever I was planning on doing, I'll say, yes, I can, and I'm capable. If you regret 
not having tried, for sure I know bigger will be the regret, not having tried at all. So, like Nike says, just do it. Thank you.